All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to propagate pomegranate cuttings. Super easy and super effective, 100% success, and you don't even need a rooting hormone. All right, so propagating um, pomegranate, super easy. I like to use a mixture of clay sand and peat. So you can use ground up cocoa husk if you want to be more renewable. And I just do a 50-50 mix, one to one mix. That's what I use for my substrate. And then I'll show you what to do next. Go ahead and make some cuttings here before I get eaten alive by mosquitoes. Just had monsoon season, so there's a lot of mosquitoes out. Get that one. And then probably take uh, that piece right there. So that's a good cutting. All right, so I came to the house because there's just so many mosquitoes. And you just clean out the bottom branches. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Just clear off as much as you're gonna stick in the soil. part's pretty straightforward. You just put those cuttings in the soil and it's slightly moistened. I don't make it too soggy because I end up covering it with a plastic bag so just the peat just needs to have a little bit of water. Very little evaporation is going to happen once you put the bag on so just moist. And you, once you have them in All right, so here's an example. I kind of loosen this up so I don't break any roots. But this is one of the cuttings that ended right here. And this new growth came off the top. So I mean, obviously there's gonna be some roots. So we can do this without damaging anything. And look at those roots. So that's quite a bit of roots. I'm gonna to wanna to get those in the ground pretty quick. But anyway, wonderful pomegranate, very easy to propagate and very intense rooting, no rooting hormone needed. So there you go, hope that helps you. All the free uh, pomegranates you can make. So this is a wonderful pomegranate and it's pretty small, about up to my waist and I'm, guess I'm pretty tall, so three feet tall, it's just a brand new vine. But I took a few of these cuttings and an experiment, stuck them in soil and they all rooted really fast in less than two weeks. So they're super easy to propagate. And like I said, this is a wonderful, and these, these are about an eighth inch wide. They're not even that wide. A lot of people say they need to be pencil thickness. Um, I haven't found that to be true. I didn't have any failures yet, but I suppose it's probably with most plants, it's gonna be a little bit easier to root them, less chance of the cutting drying out. But if you put a plastic bag over the top, like I'm gonna show you, they're not gonna dry out and fail.
This one doesn't have as many flowers on it as what I have over here. Another wonderful over here. This one has a bunch of flowers. Really pretty flowers. Here's a bunch of cuttings I just stuck in the ground. So those cuttings are going nuts. It's really easy to propagate. I had, I had no idea how easy pomegranate is to propagate. Um, I have a bunch of experiments over here because it's drier in my front yard than my backyard. So this is more for my desert plants. There's a grape experiment, another pomegranate. That one's exploding with growth. This one's growing really slow right here. Not really sure why. I have a, a drip line all along here that should be putting water out equally, but I'm guessing it's probably not equal. And this spot right here is probably getting a little bit more water maybe. That's a moringa, cassava, cassava, more moringa. I think that's all my... So yeah, pomegranate, pomegranate, pomegranate. So I try not to take cuttings off of really small pomegranate plants. Don't want to weaken them at all. These ones are plenty strong. Um, especially if you're pruning. If you're going to prune your pomegranate plant anyway to give it some shape. Prune off the really lanky vines. It kind of teaches the plant anyway because there's something called apical dominance. And if you have these apical branches or branches that have never been pruned before, you can either just pinch the tips off of the branches or you can just prune off a piece of them and then use that piece for propagation. And that's usually what I end up doing take like a I don't know six inch long segment off the end of each branch to use for propagation that also ends the apical dominance and just teaches the plant to branch out it causes those hormones to reroute all mosquitoes. so pretty simple process I'm gonna try to do this with one hand I'm going to take this. Some people like to cut the tips off. It actually helps with the rooting a little bit. But 